Hi guys, it's Mino. Welcome back to another beautiful day in the garden. Uh, I have been doing these double wandering ring pours and just have become slightly obsessed with that shape and that motion and the, the spreading out of the lines. So we're going to be playing with that one more time. Today I have a different palette of blues and greens that I'm really excited about. Let me show you. This is a 24 by 36 inch gallery wrap canvas. And I really like that length to be able to do the wandering ring pours. So first color we have, this one is Golden's Jenkins Green. It dries beautiful, dark, deep, almost black. Very, very cool color. It doesn't look like this when it dries. It gets very dark. Next one is Prussian Blue. There you go, Lee. There's your Prussian Blue. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have been watching Massey Art Studios, but my friends Lee and Jeremy are pouring and painting, and they're just, they're so funny. So I'll link their channel for you down below, but give them, go, go give them some love. Check them out. They're hilarious, guys. I really like them a lot. And he was joking that I like Prussian Blue. So there's your Blue, Lee. Anyway. <laughs> This one is Deco Art Americana Decor Satin Enamels in Pure White. My pouring medium today is Liquitex Gloss Medium and Paint and the Floetrol. So this next one is started out as Chroma Molten Metals in the Regale Blue. And it was feeling a little thinner than everything else. So I put some Golden's Cobalt Blue in there and it thickened it up beautifully and didn't really change the color, which is kind of awesome. So very cool. Regale Blue. I like this one a lot. This one is part of that Chroma Molten Metal set. It comes in blue, green, or, sorry, Regale Blue, Emerald Green, a very pretty sparkly red, and a purple, which I really like too. So this was the Emerald Green, and it wasn't working with that for me. It was like too leafy, so I actually put some black in there, and now I absolutely love it. It's like this delicious dark teal emerald midnight, I don't know, concoction that's super, super sparkly, so I'm very excited about that one. And last but not least, we have our DecoArt Americana Decor with fuzz on the stick in that 24 karat gold. Woohoo! You guys are so cute. I really appreciate it. There's so many people like, oh, do you need 24 karat? I saw some at my Home Depot. It's just so sweet. You guys are awesome. And I have a couple of really cool ladies who sent me a couple bottles. Thank you both so much. I really appreciate you. And, uh, okay, so that's our colors. Oh, one more. My problem child here. Pewter. Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in Pewter. Every time I use this color, it takes over. So I have mixed it super thick. I've mixed it thin. I've gone every consistency, and I always have an issue with it. So we're going to try it again today because I think it'll work with this. And I'm going to just do very small layers. So hopefully we'll get some of the color, but not the drama. Okay, so there's our canvas. Let's start layering our cup. I'm going to pour it again from the side because I like doing that. So how do I want to hold it? Yeah, like that. Okay, so we're going to pour it down here. All right, we're going to start with, so my plan is to put layers of white and gold, small layers of white in between most of the colors, because when I want it to spread out, I want to see that gradient. So we're going to start with the, I'm going to call it Emerald Midnight. <laughs> and I'm going to put a little bit of white in there. See, just small layers of white in between. I don't want it very, very big. Okay, we're going to put a tiny bit of gold in there. That came out fast. And we're going to go with some of the Prussian blue. I did it again. Okay, another small layer of white. We're going to go, let's do some, okay, let's do this. So we'll do some of that Regale blue. Now we're going to try some of that pewter. Behave yourself, pewter. See, it's so... It sank. Mm. Okay. All right. I'm not going to get mad. Just paint. All right. We're going to come back to some... Well, no. I'm going to come back to the Prussian blue again. Because I want something dark on the other side of that. I'm going to put some more white in there. in with some Jenkins green. Some gold. Let's do some of this uh, midnight emeraldy color. All white. Mm. 
I'm not worried about putting the gold next to the blue because we have a lot of green in here anyhow. So. See, that's pretty. The pewter next to the Prussian blue. That's cool. I like that. So for this size canvas, we need about 30 ounces of paint. So I'm probably, I'm going to fill up my cup twice and do two pours across. So that's about 16 ounces right now. I'm going to put a little bit more paint in there because I want it to stretch from one end to the other easily. So, get this out of the way. Let's see. Okay, the last two that I've done, I've done two lines parallel to each other. I think this one I want to kind of go diagonally, maybe. Go one here and one here and stretch them out that way. I don't know if that's going to work though. Maybe we'll do like a curve. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so I'm just going to put down a little bit of gold. that. And that is DecoArt 24 karat gold. So it's going to sell up. I already know. That's fine. That's why I did it. Because if it's going to sell, I'd rather have gold cells than white cells. Okay, so are you ready, Dolly? As you wish. Okay, here we go. I'm going to do a wandering ring pour. Okay, that's really cool. I like that, I love this. See, see that pewter? It takes over every single time, it's amazing. Okay, that's all right. There's a little bit of pewter left in here and I'm just gonna pour it out on the side. Okay, because I don't want too much left in the bottom of the cup. All right, let's see. We're gonna start again with that midnighty emerald green. Put it up here, you can see better. Okay. And see now I like the white because the white gives us contrast so that you can see all the different layers. So I am gonna put white almost in between every other layer. Okay, let's see, let's do this one. Gold. Okay, this one's a little fuller, but that's all right. Okay. 
right, that's very cool. Okay, so now we're gonna take what's left of the Jenkins green, and I'm gonna thin that out and use that as a flow extender. Even though there's probably enough paint on here, I wanna get some on our corners so that things don't grab and roll over it. I'm thinning this out because I'm going to use it as a flow extender. Okay, so that's not as thick as it was, leaving a tiny mound, but that's okay. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of this right in here, just in between these two. Actually, you know, I might want to put some white work on there first. Give us a little more contrast. Soak this out. Let's torch it first. Looking at it, I really like this. And that's actually where I pulled the stick through. I'm kind of having an urge to break it a little bit. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna do the same thing up in here. doing okay turn this around so my 
most of the weight of the paint is over here. We want to take it and distribute it along the canvas. We're probably going to go down first and then that way. Actually, if I was smart, I would do this side first so I don't have to come all the way back over here. Let's do that. Let's be smart. some of that on the bottom so I think we need to go off this corner though. Okay. I like it. There's some parts I like a lot on this.
Okay. All right, I'm gonna wipe my hands and we'll talk about it. I like it, but I want a little bit more contrast in here. I'm gonna take the Prussian blue and I'm gonna come through here, starting off the edge of the canvas. crazy about that or that that I don't like right here. The paint was kind of wavy. I'm gonna stop there. We're gonna wipe my hands off one more time and then we're gonna torture real fast and then we're gonna be done. It's pretty cool. I love all of this, it's so pretty. That's that like midnighty emerald green in here, the darker one. I think it's gonna dry really, really pretty. Some of that Prussian blue, it's gorgeous. I like this, see this green, which is the Jenkins green next to the white. That's gonna be really, really cool when it dries. This part's beautiful. I love those lines. Very cool. This is really neat. I kinda of wanna bring that down a little bit. It may not move much though, over here. But. 
going to stop there. <laughs> We're going to leave good alone. So that's pretty neat. I like it a lot. And uh, I'll show you guys when it's dry. <laughs> if I don't mess it up like that. Okay, that's all right. You know why? Because we have a lot of paint on here. And we can just literally tilt off that little bit. No problem. As sad as it may be. Actually, it'll be probably fine because it's taking extra paint off. See how the paint's still moving fairly quickly? That means there's still a lot on here. So taking some off, stretching it out, letting it dry faster and more evenly is not a bad thing. Okay. So we got rid of that. That's good. That's cool actually because it's opening up some of these lines up here. That's great. Okay. Now I'm going to back away slowly so that I don't ruin it. <laughs> I'll show you guys when it's dry. Okay, so this is a few days later dry now. This is pretty cool. It's a very calming, relaxing piece. Very soothing. There's some beautiful sections in here that I really, really like. I love this dark, dark Prussian blue area with the white surrounding it and then that regale blue. Just little bits of it. I really like these lines a lot. There's that emerald green that I added black to. Sorry, there's like no sun today. It's very smoky and uh, weird clouds. <laughs> but there's no fires next to us right now, so I'm happy about that. And I'm praying for the safety of the people who are in the path of all these horrible, horrible fires. I'm so grateful to our firefighters for doing such an amazing job taking care of us. Last year, we actually did have to evacuate night before Halloween. It was pretty scary. But the firefighters were amazing. Anyway, back to the painting. <laughs> um, I think the culprit here was probably my problem child, the pewter. That's what we should call it, problem child. <laughs> um, there's nothing wrong with it, but there's, there's a few areas where it just kind of is sort of muddy a little bit. Like you see this beautiful Jenkins green up there mixed with the gold and then some white and then we get into where the pewter is and it just looks gray. Which is not a bad color if that's what you're looking for. But that's what the pewter just spreads and kind of puts this... Hello kitty kitty. What you doing Zen? Kind of spreads out and kind of puts this like dull haze on everything that I don't care for. I like things more, I guess, more bold colors rather than the softened pale ones. I do like these cells in here though, that's really cool. I do have beautiful lines, nice separation of the lines. And I do like this corner a lot too. But yeah, the pewter, man. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Hi, kitty kitty. Now he's headbutting my knee. Okay. So, yeah, I think we're going to call this one Problem Child. The other thing that I'm not really crazy about about this one is the, the dark blue line of the Prussian blue. I like it itself, but in eyelashes, the one before this, I think I stretched that line out and had it opened up and different heights in different places, and this one is a little bit too uniform. And then I can see where I was trying to like smooth it out with the stick, which did not smooth it out at all and just made it worse. So I wish that was a little more stretched out, but I think I was getting greedy because I didn't want to lose this wrecked part, which I really do like a lot. I think that's beautiful. So I didn't want to tilt that off, which is why that Prussian blue line didn't end up getting stretched out. So yeah. <laughs> cool piece and I did want to show you guys for sure I might pour over this one though and try to do it again and do it better so 
Anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you've enjoyed this pour. And, uh, you know, I hope that you guys give it a try because the Wandering Ring pours are really, really fun. So, we will see you guys for the next one. Have an awesome, awesome day. Bye-bye.